Hello, welcome back to No Man's Land. Uh, today we have a slightly different episode. Uh, we're not going to be working on the farm. We're going to be taking a look at Farming Simulator and its uh, possible future. Now we don't know when the next Farming Simulator is going to be coming out and whether it'll be 24, 25, 26, who knows. Um, I haven't heard any news um, about uh, a new version coming out. Um, it doesn't mean that uh, there isn't any news, it's just that I haven't seen any or heard any or from any other uh, YouTubers. So um, I thought I'd just do a little video on my thoughts on Farming Simulator and uh, some negatives and some positives and maybe a little bit of a wish list on what we would uh, like to see in a future version of the game. Now I understand Giants use their own graphics engine which is probably uh, at its limit or past its use by date and uh, let's hope they're working on a new one or an improved uh, version of the old one. Um, which brings me to uh, I'll go through the negative points first, um, and some of, some uh, some elements will be negative and positive. But uh, the negative is probably uh, the graphics themselves. I mean, some things they do really well. Uh, like this grass that I'm standing on, that's modelled pretty well. The trees are, are okay. Um, room for improvement. Uh, the clouds in the sky are okay. I think it's let down mainly by the lighting. And I know uh, I um, have only been playing Farming Simulator since uh, version 19. And uh, we're all looking forward to when 22 came out and promised uh, great improvements. And there were improvements, of course. Uh, but the graphics was one of the biggest letdowns for me personally. I th thought they were going to... Uh, there's going to be a bigger step forward with the graphics and I guess it's it's mostly the lighting uh, and some of the textures and certainly the draw distance is the biggest uh, downside uh, the draw distance in farming simulator is pretty horrific and um, it's it's pretty immersion killing too because when you can't see across one field this is probably not a good example where I'm standing now because you can't quite you can see quite a distance into the into the uh, landscape, but uh, generally you can't. And to see the landscape being drawn as you move is is not the not the best. Now, so I've covered the draw distance. I've just got a little list here. Uh, the mechanics of the game, I think, are generally pretty good. Um, and I've got uh, all the machinery uh, sitting here behind, not all the machinery, all the main sh machinery. It all works pretty well. It's uh, pretty realistic as far as I can tell. Uh, the sounds are excellent in this game. Oh, I'll give them that. <laughs> the sound is very good. But, and the model, the models are excellent. Um, the only thing lacking is they don't do shiny services all that well so they look a bit flat but um, that's the lighting model I think but the actual models themselves uh, whether they're from giants or whether from they're from modders are pretty much faultless really I mean they're, they're amazing attention to detail is excellent and the mechanics of the vehicles work pretty well the physics in the game is generally good um, sometimes gets let down uh, vehicles getting stuck on objects and uh, so that's probably collision detection but uh, so that, that could be improved um, but we'll get back to the, uh, the mechanics and the models uh, the other um, negatives are the, the bugs that still exist in the game um, I think uh, FS22 is what three years old something like that 
And yet there's still bugs that have been in the game the whole time <laughs> I've been playing it. Um, which is pretty strange. They don't seem to update the game very often, if at all. Um, every other game I've ever played or am playing uh, have constant updates. Bug fixes, little improvements, tweaks. But uh, I don't see them happening on um, Farming Simulator. Um, just looking at my list here. Uh, so there's there's lots of room for improvements, but there's, the good thing is, I said, the models, the graphics as they are, are not bad. I'm not um, being too critical. It's a pretty amazing looking game, really, but it's probably looking a bit dated now. Um, and people have pretty good uh, PCs and Xboxes and Playstations that are capable of portraying amazing graphics. Now, that's not to say that everyone has one of those um, available. But generally, uh, I mean, I only have a, a fairly entry-level gaming PC. But it can, it can portray much better graphics than this. And I think that's accessible to most people. Um, now, the other good uh, point with Farming Simulator is the... Uh, Choice of maps is fantastic, uh, and that's due to a lot uh, of maps provided by modders, of course, not just by giants. Um, a lot of the maps, though, are European-based, or there are a fair few US, and there's a couple of Australian ones and South American. So um, having a bit of range of different country and countries and styles would would be good that's another area they can improve in and that brings me to mods in general the amount of mods you can get for this game uh, is amazing and uh, hats off to all the modders out there who uh, produce maps and vehicles and all sorts of mods for this game um, they, uh, they do an amazing job and the game wouldn't be the same without them which brings me to another point about giants i think uh, this is my personal opinion only but i think giants are a very lazy company software company in my eyes they're not very proactive they rely too much on modders to provide content for their game i know they do provide content every now and again uh, machinery packs and little bits and pieces but overall I think they uh, could lift their game and do a lot better um, now just looking at my list here uh, I probably covered all the main points the menus could do with um, improvement some of them are a bit clumsy to use um, which can be a little bit annoying so it just needs um, a bit more polishing areas of this game um, and uh, so things we'd like to see well I think we have enough machinery um, I'd like to see some different style of maps um, improvements to the graphics lighting physics all, all those things uh, weather uh, having some improved weather models would be good because it's all about immersion. We want to be immersed in this simulation. And uh, all the things that uh, contribute to the game being more immersive um, have to be good. So the qu next question is, when are we getting the next version of Farming Simulator? And what, will it be 24 at the end of this year? Or will it be... I think 25 will be the mobile version, apparently. Um, so, yes, we don't know that. Well, I don't know that. If anyone has any uh, information or ideas, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, anything you'd like to see in the game that isn't in the game. Any uh, criticisms or uh, good points about the game. So I just thought I'd just do this little uh, video to um, 
Yeah, just to ponder over the future of a uh, farming simulator. We all love this game, and it is very good. It's, you know, it, it, I'm not being too critical. It is a very good game, but I think there's a lot of room for improvement. I think uh, myself and others were a little bit disappointed when 22 came out. It didn't seem to be a, a bigger step as we thought we were going to get, or that uh, maybe Giants led us to believe we were going to get. Um, and they introduced some new features like our productions and stuff, which probably uh, saved the game. Um, I probably wouldn't be playing it now if it wasn't for those uh, improvements. So, well, so let's hope the future brings some exciting new changes and we uh, all look forward to um, seeing what they offer up, hopefully not too far away. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, short video. Please leave comments below and uh, normal service will be resumed shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye.